Good morning, everyone. Wow, we give God praise for today, the 20th of November, 2017. We thank God for His mercies, for His grace that I knew this morning. And we thank God so much for the opportunity to come your way again with a quiet time right from Abuja, the capital city of Nigeria. We give God praise. This morning, I want you to quickly invite your family and friends to join in. Just click on that share button. Share the quiet time right away on your timeline. Let it be a blessing to many, many people out there. Come back, click on that same share button. You see, invite friends and invite as many people to join in as possible because our destinies are going to be turned around today in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to partake in the Holy Communion that's going to be transplant of organs, transplant of any deficiency in our system, in our organs. Today is the day. Is there anyone with a kidney failure? The healing power of God is going to hit the airwaves and heal you today as my father leads us to take the communion. So I want us to start speaking in tongues, to share the quiet time, and invite many people to join in in the name of Jesus. Ima mo zin de re ve kon de re bo jan da la ba da la ba bo da re ve ken ba la ba ba ra Ima mo se te le ve kon de re bo ji ba ri ken de re ve da ri ma ma da la ba re I ken de re bo si ta la bo jan de re ve kon de re bo yan de re ve de re be Ima bo se te le ve da ri ken de re bo shon de re ve da ri ba re kan da la bo da re ve de re be I ma bo si ta la ve da la ba shu da la ve ke ma ri ta la ba da la ba Ye ken de re bo si da la ba da la bo Ye ken de re be yan da la ve da re bo re Ye ken de re bo si da la ba ken de re bo shu ta la ba da la ba ra Ye ken de re bo si ta la ve da re bo re Ye ken de re bo si da la ba de in da re ve su ba ri ta la ve ke ma ro ta la ve I me re ken de re bo shu da la ve ke ma in da re bo si ta la ba da re bo re I ma bo da re ve da ri ken de re bo shi ta la ba da la ba da la Yen de re mo sen de re ve ko ma ri ta la ve da la bo ken de re mo shi ta la ve do re bo ri I ken de re bo sa ta la vi da re ba ru ken da re bo shi ta la vi da la ba de re Ye ve re ma ra ma da da la ba so ta la vi ba ri ken de re bo shi pa ro ta la ba da la ve da Ye ma yen de re bo sen de re ve ko de re bo ja vi da lu da la ma so ta la ve di ri be de I ken de re bo shi da re ba re ma de da la ma so ta la ve do re ba de re Ye ken de re bo shi ba ri an de re ba so ta la ve di ri ba do ken da ri mo to re mo si ta la bo shi ma ri ta la ve do re ba so ta la ve do re be de I ken de re bo da ri ma so ta la bo ja ba ri an de re be de ye ba ro da la ba da la ba ba za ra wo mo shi ma ri an de re ve do re bo sa te ye an de re bo de re ma kon ta la bo shi ma ri ta la ve de re be de Ye vari andara baza dole ve jo tele ve andara mara ye kendere bo se tele ve dole bari de 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 baba kendere vu ji di di babore ye kendere mo zari andara vare ye kendere mo sho tele ve dole bo si dara bara ye kendere mo jon de ve de di baru tele ve dole bare ye kendara ba so tele ve dole bo sho tele ve dole ba kendere bo ye ba kendere bo so tele vi sho marit ele vi ma re ken de re bo de ri ye ken de re bo za ro ma shon de re ve do re bo da ye ken de re bo san de re bo shon de re ve ki ma ro ta a la vi de re bo re ye ken de re bo sho ta la ve do re bo si ta la ve do re bo da dear lord we give you all the praise we honor you this morning father thank you for your presence in this place we give you all the glory, all the honor, Lord, for the gift of life. Thank you so much for your protection. Thank you, Lord, for your provision. Thank you for your mercies that are new to us as this morning. We thank you, Lord. 
as we look into your word this morning father may our destinies be turned around as you will encourage us and help us oh lord to know the importance of communicating with you we know as we communicate with you nothing is impossible with you you will take care of things for us lord thank you for being our source grant us a spirit of wisdom revelation and understanding in the knowledge of you i take charge of the airwaves for you lord move heal touch deliver us lord in the name of jesus thank you holy spirit in jesus name we pray amen hallelujah Good morning, one more time. My name is Pastor Mrs. Engineer John Bright, and I bring you the quiet time written by my father, Bishop Doug Hayward Mills, on behalf of my husband, my pastor, my king, my lord, my covering, the one and only living mandate, Reverend Peter Bright Sr. We give God praise for his life, for the grace, the unique grace that is upon him and i'm most privileged to be married to him and to help him fulfill the mandate upon his life we have relocated fully in abuja and we thank god so much for the miracles that we are experiencing right here it's just amazing and mind-blowing only god could do such a thing we give god praise today we are looking at destinies destiny how we can shape and turn our destinies around are you are you in distress this morning this word will help you and deliver you and bring a breakthrough and right after the word my father is going to lead us in a communion the holy communion and there will be a miraculous wave of the power of god if there is anyone that you know who needs an, a transplant of an organ that is deficient, like kidney problems, pancreas problems, heart conditions, lungs conditions, anyone that has cancer today or has lost the mind is mad today, I want you to write the person's name down. And if the person is in a position to join in life kindly, Call that person or invite that person to join in and it will be a channel of blessing to turn the person's destiny around. We are looking at the topic destiny this morning, destiny, and we shall be reading from the book of Esther. Let's read Esther chapter 3 from verse 5 to 6, then we'll jump to Esther chapter 4 from verse 7 to 17. So Esther chapter 3 verse 5. To six. Esther chapter 3 from verse 5 to 6. This is the, the story of Esther when her man has been promoted by the king and uh, everybody was supposed to bow down in reverence when they see him and Mordecai refused to do so and because he believed that the only person he needed to really bow down to was God and so verse 5 when Haman saw that Mordecai would not bow down or show him respect he was filled with rage he had learned of Mordecai's nationality, so he decided it was not enough to lay hands on Mordecai alone. Instead, he looked for a way. Only one man had offended, offended you. Mordecai was the only one who has offended him. But when he realized that he was a Jew, he was a person, he was part of God's chosen people. He rather was looking for a way not only to lay hands on Mordecai alone. Instead, he looked for a way to destroy the Jews throughout the entire empire of Zezus. So in verse 7, in the month of April, during the 12th year of King Zezus' reign, lots were cast in Haman's presence. The lots were called Purim to determine the best day and month 
to take action. And the day selected was March 7, nearly a year later. So let's jump to verse to chapter 4. We shall read from verse 7 all the way to 17. Esther chapter 4, verse 7. So Mordecai, so the verse, this where now Mordecai got the news that all the Jews were going to be destroyed by Haman. A letter has been sent out with a seal of the king that the Jews should be killed and destroyed. So he decided to, to communicate to his niece, who happens to be Queen Esther, that he helped to go to the palace and to get married to the king to the king he got there in sackcloth weeping and in a lot of distress so uh, verse 7 um, before verse 7 uh, Queen Esther was told about the condition of Mordecai she sent clothes to him to change from the sackcloth and wear something decent he refused and Esther sent one of her chamberlains to find out what was the problem? What 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 he wanted her to do? So verse seven, Mordecai told him the whole story, including the exact amount of money Haman had promised to pay into the royal treasury for the destruction of the Jews. Mordecai he gave Hatach a copy of the decree issued in Susa that called for the death of all Jews. This was a decree. A decree is not just a normal law. A decree is something that cannot be changed. When the government of a country or a king makes a decree, it cannot be altered. That is how severe the condition they found themselves in. Mordecai gave her touch a copy of the decree issued in Susa that called for the death of all Jews. He asked her touch to show it to Esther and explain the situation to her. He also asked her touch to direct her to go to the king to beg for mercy and plead for her people. So her touch returned to Esther with Mordecai's message. Verse 10. Then Esther told her touch to go back and relay this message to Mordecai. All the king's officials and even the people in the provinces know that anyone who appears before the king in his inner court without being invited is doomed to die unless the king holds out his gold scepter. And the king has not called me to come for him to him, sorry, for 30 days. So her touch in verse 12 gave Esther's message to Mordecai. Mordecai sent this reply to Esther. Don't think for a moment that because you are in the palace, you will escape when all other Jews are killed. If you keep quiet at a time like this, deliverance and relief. For the Jews will arise for, from some other place. But you and your relatives will die. Who knows if perhaps you were made queen for just such a time as this. Then Esther sent this reply to Mordecai. Go and gather together all the Jews of Susa and fast for me. Do not eat or drink for three days. Night or day. My mates and I will do the same, and then though it is against the law, I will go in to see the king. If I must die, I must die. So Mordecai went away and did everything as Esther had ordered him. If when any time we find ourselves in a distress, in a complex situation where we do not know who to turn to it looks impossible the secret is to fast and pray and call on the God of heaven God tells us in first Chronicles that if my people 
who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray. I will heal them and heal their land. Not only heal them, but heal their land. God wants us to pray, to fast and pray and call on him when we are in distress. When, when things don't seem to work. When all we try to do doesn't seem to work. When the people over our lives in authority over us are taking decisions that are affecting us and we do not have anyone to turn to, we are supposed to call on God. God is the only one who can turn the heart of the king. He says that the heart of the king is in my hands. I turn it however way I want. Even though a decree had been made to destroy all the Jews, a decree was not supposed to be altered. But by the intervention of fasting and prayer by Esther, Mordecai, and the entire Jews, their destinies were turned around. We see that over and over again in the Bible. Over and over again in the Bible, as we follow the men and women of God of faith, we see them call on God in prayer and in fasting to intervene on their behalf and that is what you and i are, are being asked to do today you cannot experience the hand of god you cannot have your destiny shaped and fulfill the mandate upon your life if you do not pray that is one of the greatest secrets of the mandate fasting and prayer Fasting and prayer. For example, who starts a church and in just the very first day? It's not that the church has been meeting secretly or we've even been having fellowships. No. Just day one and you have 66 people, the place is full, people are standing. That is a miracle in the hand of God. The secret is fasting and prayer. And in the second Sunday, you start two services and the place is still full. The first service is almost full and the second service is full. Only God can do such a thing. It is not by any strategies or any clever intervention, moves or ideas. No, it is just purely by the hand of God. It is a pure miracle. Destinies are shaped when we call on the God of heaven. When we speak to our heavenly father. That is the secret of my father. That is what has brought him this far in ministry. You cannot do leave an indelible mark in our generation without fasting and prayer. Remember when the disciples went to cast out devils. They were amazed that the devils were not going out of the people. And when they came back and reported, Jesus told them, This kind, this kind can only go out by fasting and prayer. There are situations in our lives that are not being turned around just because we are not fasting and praying. There are issues that come up that just prayer can solve, but there are other issues that has to do with our destiny, that are so complex you need to add fasting to the prayer in order to shape it and have god intervene and move and gear it into the right direction we are in the situation we find ourselves in in distress because we are not fasting and praying my father says that esther said it can be reward. Esther sent an important message back to Mordecai. She explained that it will not be possible for her to walk into the king's parlor without being invited. She explained that she would lose her life if she did so. My father, Bishop Dagiomil, says that, but Esther put God before her marriage. That is what ladies we are supposed to do. We are supposed to put God first before our marriage. Esther put God before her marriage. She obeyed the word of God. She obeyed the word of God. She was prepared to sacrifice her life if that was what it meant. She remembered where she came from. 
Esther remembered where she came from. Sometimes we get married and we forget where we came from. We forget the people who helped us. We are not supposed to do that. That is an error. That is an error, ladies. That is an error. Esther remembered where she came from. How many women would be prepared to make such a sacrifice for a spiritual cause? Sacrifice for a spiritual cause. If you put God first, if you put God first, you will invoke a blessing upon your life. If you put God first, you will invoke a blessing upon your life. Esther asked the people to fast and pray. She believed that prayer and fasting would bring solutions. Wives, in all your getting, get prayer and fasting. In all your getting, get prayer and fasting. Perhaps no one can change your husband's mind. Is there something that your a decision your husband has taken? You are trying to convince him, otherwise he's not listening. You've called for the elders of the church to talk to him. He's not listening. The secret is to fast and pray. God can change his mind. But I know one thing that can help to break every barrier down. Prayer and fasting. Your destiny is determined more by prayer than anything else. That is the secret. Our destinies are determined more by prayer than anything else. Jesus determined his destiny by prayer. Three hours of prayer in the Garden of Gethsemane ensured that everything would go as planned. Because many things could have swayed Jesus. Many things could have happened. Probably some of the people Jesus healed. Maybe the centurion whose daughter was healed. The lepers. The woman with the issue of blood. All the people Jesus healed. Lazarus. All of them could have probably showed up uh, at Pontius Pilate's place and this and turned the, the 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 verdict. And Jesus wouldn't have gone to the cross to, to fulfill his mandate, the reason why he came on earth in the first place. Or when Pontius Pilate washed his hands, the crowd could have gotten afraid and decided to change the story. Or Jesus, you know, Jesus had already received 40 stripes, lashes already, and all of that. He was in a lot of pain. His body was already tattered and torn. He could have said that, look, this, all of this pain is not, I'm tired. And he couldn't have gone on the cross to die for us. Maybe Judas would have arrived on the scene and said that I made a terrible mistake. I lied and all of that. And that the chief priests um, swayed me off my feet and they lied and brought evidence of the money that he was giving and all of that. And the verdict would have gone otherwise. But Jesus prayed. Despite the stress in which he was in, his prayer even turned to blood. Despite the stress in which he was in, he prayed that for the perfect will of God to be done. He couldn't have gone through it without the help of God, without him having prayed. Isaiah 58 verse 6, It's not this the fast that I have chosen. It's not this the fast that I have chosen to lose the bands of wickedness. Is there any wickedness happening around you? Fast and pray. To lose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens. Are you heavily burdened this morning? Fast and pray. God will turn it around. To lose the bands of wickedness. To undo the heavy burdens. And to let the oppressed go free. And that ye break every yoke. Fast and pray is the secret. People of God... 
let's learn from Esther's example and shape our marriages, our ministries, our lives through prayer. Let's carve out our future with hours of prayer. Five minutes, ten minutes, one hour prayer is a thing of the past. It will not do when you find yourself in distress, when you need God's intervention. Five minutes prayer is not going to cut it. It's not going to make it work. We need to pray all the time. We need to pray without season. That is what we are supposed to do. And I want to introduce this book to you, How to Pray. This book will help you to know how to pray. How to pray. And this other one, The Art of Following. The Art of Following will help you to see all the other great men and women of the Bible how they worked with God, how they prayed and, and the strategies that God brought their way, the ideas God gave them to avert and shape their destiny. These two books will help. You can get these books right from the Macario 60. This is 60 collection of Bishop Daghiel Mills books. Power-packed books that will transform your life, your ministry, your organization. And you'll be amazed at the miracles that you'll be experiencing. And I want you to get these ones. These two are textbooks from the Montano. The Montano is 11 textbooks written by my father. This is Essential Charismatic Doctrines. You can use it as a textbook to teach others on how to pray. And this other one, Principles and Practice of, of, of Spiritual Guidance, will also help you to teach others on how to follow the men and women of God that we learn from in the Bible. So grab these books right away. Please place your order by calling the numbers that are scrolling on your screen right now so you can have your own copy of the Macario 60 and the Montano, which is the 11 textbooks written by my father. And it will be a blessing to you. These books are down to earth, easy to understand. They will help shape your life and your destiny and you will be so glad you did so please kindly call the number scrolling on your screen right now and it will be a blessing to you you can also visit www.daghiomillsbooks.org if you want the soft copy of the books you can get it right there and i want you to subscribe to my daddy's podcast it is just daghio mills if you have uh, an android device you just go to play store search podcast add it and type his name in daghio mills and you can have access to all his messages and it will be a blessing to you you know that faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of god anointing is released you cast the anointing as you hear the word of god ezekiel 2 2 the spirit entered into me as he speak unto me you need to hear the word of god so that you can become anointed the solution you need has already been given if only you can hear it you can be able to know what to do if you can read it, you will know what to do. So get this book, subscribe to the podcast. If you have a, an Apple device, just go to your Apple store and type in podcast. Type my father's name, Dagi Mills, and voila, you have the podcast downloaded on your device. And I will also urge you to get my mom's podcast as well. It's Adelaide Hayward Mills, especially if you are a lady. It will be a blessing to you. It will help you shape your life and know what to do as a woman, single lady, as a married woman, as a mother, a woman in ministry. It will, it's just beautiful. So please get the podcast. It will be a blessing to you. It is time for the communion, everyone. We, well, a blessing. It is time for the communion. Uh, if you haven't invited your friends to join in already, I want you to do so. If you forgot to write down the name of anyone who needs 
a transplant of an organ, whether it's a bone marrow transplant, a lungs transplant, someone who is blind, who is mad today, is the day. So please in, write down that person's name, just put it right by you, believe God on behalf of that person, and see the miracle power of God touch that person like never before. So please grab some water, some juice, some bread, biscuit, whatever you can find. The important thing is something to symbolize the body and the blood of Jesus. body of Jesus Christ. Now the blood. Whatever is poisonous hmm. in your system, this will neutralize it. Amen. He said, this is my blood of the New Testament. Yes. Shed for the remission. May your mistake which has set you back hmm. be cancelled this morning. Amen. Hey, no. no. May your error, 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 hmm. error. Mm-hmm. 
Jesus' name. Amen. Receive salvation. I receive it in the receive name the of Jesus. Of salvation. Amen. Receive the wonderfulness of salvation. Yes, Lord, I receive it. May your life experience the blessings of God. Amen. Whatever you couldn't do for yourself, mm. may He do it for you today. Amen. In the name of He who died on the cross. Mm. The blood of the Lamb that of Jesus. your phone right now. Take your First phone. Of all, mm. Whatever phone here represents cheapness and outdated technologies. Mm. I declare a new and modern phone Amen. for your life. Yes, Lord. Let money miraculously yes, Lord. appear on the fields in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Let there be messages. Yes, Father. Let there be gifts. Mm. Let there be blessings. Amen. In the I receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, Lord. Amen. I receive it in peace. Amen. I receive it in peace of me. Yes. Amen. Amen. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 And we declare mm. your help and your grace. Yes, Father. Earth. And we declare that the heart of the King shall be turned toward us. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive divine appointment. Amen. Receive divine favor. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you so much, Lord, for miracles. Thank you, Lord. We give you glory. In the name of Jesus, we give you all the praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise, Father. Thank you so much for touching us today. Thank you for the miracles. Thank you for the transplant of organs. Thank you for restoring sanity. Thank you for restoring peace. Thank you for joy. Thank you, Lord, for grace. Thank you for your intervention into our lives. Thank you for promotion. Thank you for the miracle monies you brought our way. Thank you for blessing us with new phones. Thank you for blessing us with phones that had new technology. Thank you for the miracle monies. Thank you for rolling away our shame. Thank you for taking away away that which wants to destroy us, we give you praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your power that has touched our lives. We give you all the glory. Thank you, Lord, for making our joy full today. As we go through the day, we pray for grace. In the mighty name of Jesus. Wow. We give God all the glory. What a beautiful time that was. I'm sure you have a testimony. Please inbox us your testimony right here. We would love to celebrate God with you and uh, give God all the praise. Please share this quiet time. Let it bless someone out there. There are so many people in distress who need to hear this message. There's someone's life that is not going right and that person needs the intervention of God. Remember, we learned that the only way God can intervene in shaping our destinies is through fasting and prayer. So now is the day to start fasting and praying like never before so that our destinies can be shaped just like esther's and the people the entire people of the jews in those days thank you so much for joining in on this broadcast it's been a blessing i still feel the power of god right here what a joy i thank god so much for 
your lives thank you so much for joining in so many of us joining this morning for the sake of time i'll just mention a few names i see right here Tyro David, God bless you, David, for joining in. I'm so happy to see you. I see Pastor Kwesi PDAJ joining all the way from the UK. Thank you so much for always joining in. I see J O C Gwe, God bless you. I see John Dag Michael, God bless you for always joining in. I draw Golden and many, many others. God bless you all so much for joining in. Your mandate is clear in the name of of jesus till i come your way again tomorrow by the grace of god remember 6 a.m gmt plus one is the time and we are going to be bringing the quiet time to you from the mandate boulevard in abuja yes we are relocated to abuja i want you to remember that you are a daughter and a son of the most high god who created the whole world and everyone and every single thing and therefore you cannot be a victim of your circumstances you are a victor you are more than a conqueror says the lord i'll see you tomorrow by the grace of god see the